I understand first responders and those in congregate care facilities should receive the first round of shots. But even Ohio Governor Mike DeWine admitted the state's initial distribution of the vaccine is not going as quickly as he had hoped. On the Cleveland Clinic website, you can start signing up if you live in Florida. Diane Scythe of North Ridgeville says she was a bit stunned when she saw appointments for the COVID-19 vaccine were being accepted by Cleveland Clinic Martin Health locations in Florida starting back on December 30th. If you, you're 65 in Florida and you can go get in line, why can't we here? News 5 asked the Cleveland Clinic here in Northeast Ohio that question, and it said each state is following its own guidance. Details are still being worked out for here, and we'll share them as soon as we have them. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Clinic in Florida is being inundated with vaccine appointment requests. My understanding is that uh, in the first half hour or so, we received over 10,000 calls. Yesterday, the Centers for Disease Control reported Ohio was lagging behind Pennsylvania, Indiana, Kentucky, Virginia, Michigan, and several other states on the number of initial vaccine doses issued per 100,000 residents. Wednesday, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine acknowledged vaccine rates in Ohio need to be better. And the numbers that I was looking on our dashboard uh, were not going up, frankly, as, as fast as I, I thought that thought that they should. And both the governor and the CDC admitted the reporting of those getting the vaccine is lagging significantly. There's been an input problem, uh, problem, and we're trying to work, work that out. In response, DeWine asked Ohio hospitals to pick up the pace, hoping they can administer and record each vaccination within 24 hours of receiving its doses. But University Hospitals told News 5 it's hard to schedule appointments when vaccine supply delivery dates aren't always reliable. Remember, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so we're trying to avoid long lines. So everyone needs a scheduled appointment. So 24 hours may be a little aggressive. And while Ohioans play the waiting game, people like Diane Scythe hope the state can pick up the vaccine pace in the coming weeks. And I'm hoping that it's equitable across the country. And University Hospital Chief Operating Officer Dr. Robin Strosaker told News 5 she believes the vaccine will be available to the general public here in Ohio by March, with the state starting to vaccinate those in the 1B category, including people over 65, by mid-January. I'm five on your side, investigator Joe Paganakis. Our thanks to